Hey yo, how's it going beautiful people around the world? My name is Ed Quinn and welcome to my life. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, I'm actually not in Amsterdam anymore, I'm currently in Ireland. I'm actually staying in a hostel here in Dublin, this is my first day. And while I was leaving Amsterdam, I recorded some footage, so play that sh** now. It's half seven in the morning, as you can see, I'm all packed. I'm actually on my way to the Amsterdam airport, so yes, it's my last day here in Amsterdam, but not for long, I will definitely be coming back. I'm just waiting for the train to take me to the airport. I am running on about five hours sleep. Oh man, I feel tired. I'm just kidding, I never get tired. <laughs> tired gets me. <laughs> Five flights in four weeks, who is doing it? Hi there, how are you doing? I'm okay. Nice, this looks very fancy. Oh, it's my camera. Oh, you like it? Yeah, I do like it. <laughs> very durable. I'm on a plane. So I'm in the Dublin airport and I had to just fill out a passenger locator form and while I was doing that I came across my suitcase so win-win. <laughs> I also, and I don't have a clue how I've done it, but I got water through the Amsterdam airport somehow. Clearly they give no shits. <laughs> Okay, so I've checked into yet another hostel and here are my things and this is where I'll be sleeping. I'm gonna have a fat nap, shower, and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> I swear to God, just as I woke up from my nap, my headphones have, have just broke. I'm actually really sad. <laughs> I got them in year 11 for, for doing well in my GCSEs. Oh my. Well, that's the end of an era. Just a heads up, my beats are fine. I managed to somehow fix them a little bit. I mean, I guess I'll see how long they last. <laughs> but anyway, this is a different type of video. I wanted to slow things down, kind of make a, a sit down and talk to the camera type of video. I haven't done anything like this before. I thought I'd share my open and honest opinions about what I think traveling is like at 19 years of age and also doing it in 2020. So let's get to it. Okay, first things first, let me give you some background information before we actually get on to the present moment of me being in Ireland right now. I never personally wanted to go down the university route strictly because I always like the flip side of things such as traveling. I do understand why you would want to go to uni 100% but if I would have gone, it would have been for the wrong reasons, such as the social aspect, rather than actually getting a degree. The majority of people I know have literally just started uni, and I know for a fact each and every single one of them are going to excel. They're all going to do very well. So as I said, for me, university was never really an option, and I always enjoyed the opposite side, which is travelling. That always interested me way more. I always liked the idea of experiencing new cultures, trying new food, meeting new people, and just experiencing uncomfortable situations in general. I truly believe each of these factors correlate into knowledge, which then turns into progress. So when the time came about to go traveling, I did it. You guys know this. I went from Greece to Italy, to Germany, to Netherlands, and now I'm in Ireland. And this is all in a span of a six week period. So why am I telling you this? Well, one of my jobs is to be as transparent as possible with you guys watching, and I'm always hoping that each viewer can take away some bit of knowledge that they didn't have prior to clicking on this video. And the fact you even clicked on this video in the first place really makes me appreciative, whether it's to learn about traveling or to just watch me in general. I'm truly grateful for that, thank you. So, the first week. 100% the most difficult challenge I've ever put myself in. The whole mental aspect of leaving behind everything you know and to step foot into a brand new environment is a challenge in itself. And the first week was definitely the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. In my first vlog, if you guys remember, I actually said I was in Greece for a week. It went from me going from the airport and then all of a sudden being in Greece. And yet there was no footage of that initial week and the reason for that is because I was that low, I didn't even want to pick up the camera. In that initial week, I was questioning everything I believed in, doubting myself in certain aspects, and just having thoughts that I've never had in my life before. After that initial period of feeling sad and feeling homesick, you guys saw there was a rapid progression in my mood and the way I was 
viewing life at that time. I started to feel amazing, especially when I got to Athens. Literally, I've created some of my best memories in Athens. Still to this day, one of my happiest moments is standing on top of that hill, looking at all of Athens in the night time and just watching the whole city glow. It was truly amazing. After that, life literally couldn't have got any better. And when I moved to Rome, I felt on top of the world. It was literally like walking through history. It was insane being in Rome. I highly recommend it. I had never felt that happy in my life. The channel was doing well. I was in a place where I always wanted to be. It was perfect. The homesickness disappeared. I was creating great memories. So at this point, I thought, okay, I might as well keep the ball rolling. So I moved to Germany. <laughs> I thought to myself, how could I possibly be sad? I feel amazing every single day. <laughs> oh, how I couldn't have been more wrong. As soon as I got into Germany, I started to feel a similar type of energy that I had when I first touched down in Greece. I started to feel a bit lost. I didn't know where I wanted to take the channel and I wasn't even sure if Germany was the place for me, especially being on the highest of highs in Italy. So after being in Germany for a few days, I started to look at other places such as Sweden, but then I heard it was f***ing expensive. <laughs> and then I remembered, I met a guy in Greece that came from Amsterdam and I was like, I've always wanted to go there. Why don't I just go? And I knew straight away I had to go. So I went. As soon as I touched down in Amsterdam, I felt instantly better. I felt my mind was clearer. I was just simply happier. I always wanted to go to Amsterdam. I heard amazing things about it, so I was really glad when I touched down there. And yeah, that whole period was amazing, which now brings us to Ireland. <laughs> and this is where I want to end with this. Travelling has single-handedly been the greatest decision that I've ever made in my life. I'm really glad I did it. I get to wake up and do something I love every single day while experiencing different culture, meeting new people. I truly couldn't get any happier than this. So for everyone watching, if you're contemplating traveling, first things first, that's amazing. And secondly, just book a plane ticket, just go. Just do it, don't even think about it, just do it. It will be hard at the start, but trust me, that pain is only temporary. It only becomes permanent if you quit, so never give up. Don't overwhelm yourself by looking at the whole staircase. Just take one step at a time. You can achieve whatever it is you want, and I truly believe that. I said to myself at the start of the year I was gonna travel. Even when the odds were against me with the whole pandemic, I still did it. So even when times get tough and you feel like you're walking through hell, why would you give up and stop walking through hell? Just keep going. You're all amazing people and you all deserve greatness and happiness. Whew. Okay guys, that was the vlog. I hope I was able to give some useful insight into what traveling is like, the mental aspect of it. And as I said before, if you wanna go, then go for it. You're the only person holding yourself back. I love each and every single person watching this. Thank you for spending some of your precious time to watch me. And until the next one, guys, please like, subscribe, and peace.